to the last day of Beauty and the Beast week. It has been such a great time hanging out with you guys this week. I put out a lot of videos and I'm so tired. I am so happy that you guys joined in and had a blast with me. I loved all of your comments and I'm gonna be going through those at the end of the week. I'm so excited to see what you all have said. Thanks for sending pictures and everything. It's been so awesome hanging out with you this week. So thank you so much for joining me this Beauty and the Beast week. And if you saw the new movie, let me know down in the comments. I wanna know how you liked it. I personally loved it. I thought it was so good. I absolutely loved it. I thought they did a fabulous job. So let me know in the comments what you think. I really want to hear. So today our very last project is going to be a super awesome stained glass project. I'm going to be making a stained glass piece from the original Beauty and the Beast movie where they talk about what happened to the beast, about the woman who came in with the rose. It's going to be so cool. So why don't we get started? For this project you'll need an 8x10 shadow box, black puffy paint, stained glass paint, fairy lights, this is optional and you'll see why later, a paintbrush, painter's tape, and a printout of a stained glass design. First thing you want to do is you want to turn over your shadow box and take the backing off. Then my shadow box had a little bit of weird goo on the inside, so I would say just take a paper towel and clean out the inside just so that the paint and stuff sticks good. Then you want to flip your shadow box over and take your printout and tape it on the outside. Then flip that back over, then you should have a design that you can copy onto your glass. Then you want to take the black puffy paint and outline any of the black lines from your design. Then let this dry completely. After that's all dry, you want to grab your stained glass paint and paint on the different colors matching your design. The paints that I had didn't have exactly every color that I wanted in this design, so I just kind of went with what seemed best. Just paint within the lines of your puffy paint and it should turn out perfect. Then let this dry completely. After that's completely dry, flip over your shadow box and undo the tape that you have your design taped on with and take that off. And then you can see you have an awesome stained glass design. Now I did think it was a good idea to put some fairy lights in the back and put the backing on and it just turned out terrible. <laughs> So I would suggest not using the fairy lights in the back and just let the light do its own thing. You can use the fairy lights um, on the back to kind of add a little bit of fun, uh, but I would suggest maybe not using them unless you can figure out a really great way that I couldn't figure out. Let me know down in the comments if you have a great idea. Now you have an awesome stained glass Beauty and the Beast design to add to your decor. to have you 
you guys joining me this week. And if you guys haven't seen, I am at 850 subscribers. I'm so excited. Thank you guys so much for subscribing to my channel. I am just so overwhelmed and happy by the amount of you who subscribe to my channel. I've had such a great time getting to know all of you. It has been so awesome. You guys may be thinking to yourself, oh my gosh, that is so close to a thousand subscribers. I know, oh my gosh. So I wanted to put a big ask out there for you guys to like get your friends, tell people about my channel, and get them to subscribe so I can reach that 1,000 subscriber mark. It'll be so cool. So yeah, if you guys could, that would be so awesome. I think that once I get to 1,000 subscribers, I'm gonna do an awesome special video. It'll be super cool. But until then, please keep telling people about me. It'll be so cool. And hopefully we'll get to 1,000 subscribers super fast. I hope you guys like Beauty and the Beast week and I hope that you continue to join me for more awesome videos just like this. I will see you guys on Saturday. Bye!